Our series of more perfect union aims to show that what unites us as Americans is greater than what divides us. In Milwaukee, hundreds of homes have been revitalized because of a chance encounter between two people. Chip Reed caught up with the couple who set out to end the housing blight and rebuild their neighborhood one home at a time. <laughs> Sharon and Larry Adams are bringing life back to their boarded up neighborhood while giving hope to many who live here. When I was younger, this neighborhood had a lot of gang banging going on, a lot of drug selling, a lot of destruction over here. And I was part of the destruction. You know, now we got a lot of love going on. Love that first bloomed here when Sharon moved into her childhood home. It needed work, and Larry, an electrical contractor, came by to take a look. A first meeting that was, well, electric. And she says, do you want some tea? At the time, I'm drinking maybe a pot of coffee a day, smoking two packs of cigarettes a day, and I'm moving. And I said, yes. Sharon hired him, but love got in the way. After I rewired the house, I fired myself because that's a conflict of interest. Oh, so I've been working is, pro bono ever since. <laughs> working the past two decades with the help of donations to restore more than 100 homes in this stretch of the city blighted by riots. But it's never happened here in Milwaukee. And neglect that left their neighborhood classified as undesignated. 2,700 people. Household. Undesignated. Undesignated. Undesignated, which means you're irrelevant Correct. to us. Right. And we looked at each other to say, undesignated, <laughs> what? what does that mean? <laughs> Unacceptable. The unlikely spark for change happened right on their street. We see lights flickering outside of the house, uh, drug activity. And what were those lights? Crack pipes. Crack pipes. Mm. Yeah. And is that one of the moments when the two of you decided, we've got to do something about this? I asked you to fix it. You, you asked him to fix it. Did you say please? I did say <laughs> It's always please. It's I all always I mean, look into please. those eyes. It's always please. <laughs> but to grow a community, you have to start with a seed. So they also planted gardens, even orchards. 42 peach trees. So we have orchards, enough orchards. In Milwaukee. In Milwaukee, mm -hmm. of all places, correct. You have bees making honey creating a buzz that brought businesses, including the neighborhood's first restaurant, a juice bar, and opportunity for people like Darius Wade and Henry Hopkins. Did you ever think you'd be a role model? Back in the days, I wanted to be a different role model. You know, I wanted to be the, the biggest drug dealer. You know, I want the little kids look up to me doing that. Hey. Now, Hopkins runs a different kind of crew, a landscaping crew launched by the Adamses to beautify these blocks. Me. Every day they pushing me. Larry tell me he got plans for me. Hopkins has plans too to start his own business, while Wade has another idea for improving these streets. I always wanted to be a police officer. I want to show that you can grow up in this area and still make it out and be somebody. All possible because one loving couple cared. What have they done for you? <laughs> a lot. I like him a lot of the credit. A lot of the credit while they credit each other. What is it that drives you to keep going? Larry, no. <laughs> <Sam>. <laughs> and a belief that what they've done here is part of something much bigger. We're not the beginning. You're a link in a chain. We, and Absolutely. we will not be the end. And Absolutely. so I am so grateful oh, yeah. to you. For CBS This Morning, Chip Reed in Milwaukee. A link in the chain and they will not be the end. It just shows you if people think you care about them, mm -hmm. the difference that it makes, and sometimes all you need is one person. That's right. To show you, you know, Our cities can you be matter. Safe. Yeah, they can you be matter. safe. Yeah. I love Milwaukee already, I tell you what. It's a great city. <laughs> it's a great city. It is, it is.